Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin late. Ah, uh, oh, forget it. Hey, such a gray day. Look at that. And I was wondering what I could do today. And I thought, hey, I know, I'll make another video. So that's what I'm doing. And we're going to be talking about GFI electrical circuits and why is your circuit breaker tripping? Why is your GFI electrical outlet tripping in your bathroom? If it is, stick around because I want to talk to you about that. Well, let's just talk about this a little bit. Your GFI electrical outlet in your bathroom. Why? Why does it keep tripping when you put your dryer in there or your, your electric curling iron or your men's shaver and you put it in there and it keeps tripping and you always have to go and reset this and maybe you don't have it. Maybe you have something there and it's not tripping this and you have to go look in your electrical breaker panel. Let's go over there for a second. Let's go in here for a second. Maybe you have to go in here and, and reset this breaker because the one in the bathroom didn't, didn't pop off. Let's, let's check this out here. We've got bath, see here, bath GFI. And here's another one, bath GFI. And both of those, we go over here, those are on 20 amp breakers. They're not on 15 amp breakers. They're on 20 amp breakers. And I had looked on here before I made another video, laundry room, GFI, garage, GFI. Those happen to be on 15 amp breakers because the electrician figured that when you're in the garage, uh, you only need a, a 15 amp breaker for your GFI out there in your laundry because you're not going to have as many things plugged into there like you would your bathrooms. So first off, I know that my bathroom, this particular house, not all houses, you'll have to look in your electrical panel and see, those are on 20 amp breakers. Okay, let's remember that. And as, as I go along, we're gonna check something out. And when we look at this electrical uh, outlet, this is a GFI. I'm gonna pull this out here for a second get that out of our way okay this is a GFI um, electrical outlet and I'm trying to look on here and see um, if it shows what amperage it is because here's here's a funny thing lots of times and we're gonna check this out here by the way lots of lots of bathrooms I don't know why they do this uh, it might be a 20 amp breaker in your electrical panel, but maybe they installed a 15 amp uh, GFI electrical outlet in your bathroom. And if they did, then you only have 15 amps of overall use that you can use here as opposed to 20 amps. Why would they do such a thing? And here's, here's the other thing. We look at this, we look at this one here, and there's a GFI there. When I go over to this bathroom, I'm going to look at this bathroom over here. And you see, you see there's no GFI electrical outlet there, but it says GFCI protected outlet. That means this electrical outlet is tied in to the other one in the other bathroom. And you remember there was two breakers in this panel that said bathroom GFI. That, did, that didn't mean two different circuits for these two particular bathrooms. That meant the other bathroom upstairs is connected to a, a, the separate GFI or the separate electrical breaker in there. Does that make sense? And so if, if you have a problem, let's say we have, a, we have an issue in one of these two bathrooms in here. Well, it could be, it could be because your electrical 
GFI outlet is 15 amp. And you know at the store you can get a 20 amp GFI uh, electrical outlet like this, duplex electrical outlet, or you can get a 15 amp. And maybe it's something like that. Maybe you would have to replace this uh, 15 amp electrical uh, GFI to a 20 amp. That's only if your electrical panel has a 20 amp breaker, okay? You can't put this, you can't change this to a 20 amp if your breaker is only a 15 amp, okay? You can't do that because your wire size is too small. We don't want to, I don't want to mess you up and have you start a, uh, an issue or something, okay? Here's, here's the other thing. Maybe you don't have an issue in that one bathroom over there, but you have an issue in this bathroom. You think, how come this one keeps tripping when the other one doesn't trip? Well, maybe that electrical outlet over there, that GFI, is a 20 amp, on, on a 20 amp breaker, okay? And whoever installed this electrical outlet, they installed a 15 amp electrical outlet here, which was tied to the 20 amp GFI electrical outlet in the other bathroom. Do you see what I'm saying? You could change this to a 20 amp electrical outlet. And it could be something like that. Or maybe you're just overloading the circuit, period. Maybe it has nothing to do with this. Or maybe, maybe your GFI electrical outlet is 15, 20 years old. Maybe it's just getting tired and you've, and you've set it and reset it and reset it and keeps popping out, keeps popping out, keeps popping out. Maybe it's just worn and you need to get a new one. Maybe it's simple as that, taking this out and replacing it, okay? But um, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take the cover plate off and I don't wanna do that with it hot. So let's just, uh, let's just see what happens here. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure which breaker it is. And what we could do is put this light back on. I don't have my electrical tester. It's upstairs. Let's just turn that on, okay? We've got that light on now. And I'm gonna turn the breakers off. I don't know which one it is, per se. We're gonna look here. I'm gonna guess it's this, it's this first one here, and I'm gonna count from the bottom up. One, two, three, okay? One, two, three. Let's turn that off. Let's go back in this room and see if we got the right one. And voila, look at that, we did. Okay, if it wasn't that one, I would've turned that back on and then tried that other one. That said bath, GFI, okay? Okay, so now, I'm curious myself uh, on this, if it's a 20 amp uh, GFI or it's a 15. Not that I have any issues right now, because we don't use these bathrooms much, but I'm going through this whole, this whole procedure because you're gonna have to go through this if you wanna check your particular circuit. Because we're gonna we're gonna imagine that you have an issue with this, okay? And you're on a 20 amp breaker. If you're on a 20 amp breaker in the electrical panel, that means you've got 12 gauge wire going over to your your uh, GFI outlet, okay? And maybe this is only a uh, a 15 amp. And we're gonna check on here. And usually you're gonna find some writing somewhere. And I'm gonna get you down in here. And you'll probably see it along here. You could see it right up in there or along the side. And I see it. I see it on the side. And look at that, right there. Do you see what it says? 20 amp. Look at that. They did do it right. Good for them. I would have, I would have bet dimes to donuts <laughs> that that was 15 amp because sometimes electricians do that. So that, 
That is a really good thing. I'm happy. I'm glad that the electricians knew what they were doing when they installed this because sometimes, sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes that's a 15 amp or maybe, maybe the initial electricians had a 20 amp in because it was a 20 amp breaker and maybe over the years, depending how old your house is, maybe somebody came along and replaced it because it was getting bad, somebody broke it, it was chipped off, whatever, and we'll get that back on there. And um, they went to the store and they got a new one and they didn't know any different. They just thought, ah, I don't know what the difference is. Or they just picked one up off the shelf and it was a 15 amp, not a 20 amp. Because they weren't really paying attention to that or maybe they really didn't even know. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow that up. And I'm hoping they were smart enough to uh, put a 20 amp electrical outlet here. Do you think they were? I'm hoping they were because more times than not, all of these in the wall are 15 amps. Okay, well we're gonna check it. We're gonna see if, if they did good here. This should be on a, this should be a 20 amp uh, electrical outlet here that's tied into that GFI, okay? And I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look on there. Uh, this one, this one could be, could be hard to see, and I'm, I'm not going to pull it out of the wall, but I'm going to get my flashlight on here and see if I can't, can't see it, because I'm, I'm looking up here. This one doesn't have any little flanges like the, uh, like the other one, and I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing it. See, I may have to pull, might have to pull it out and it might be showing on the side, but usually it'll be up in here or down here. And I'm seeing some wording here, but uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing it. I really have to pull this out of the wall. I don't really want to, don't really want to do that. Uh, I'm not really, man, see it could be, it could be hidden behind the screw a little bit. I know, I know most electrical outlets have it written on there somewhere. I'm going to run upstairs, get my Phillips screwdriver, pull that out. Let's see if I can't find this because this is supposed to help you figure out on your own what's going on at your house. Be right back.